Let us read, alright? Let us end. Let us stand.
are beginning the Mass, led by His Excellency the Apostolic Nuncio. Welcome. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, peace be with you. Brothers and sisters, the joy of the Lord is our strength. God the Father, in his Son, Jesus Christ, universal King, accompanies us in every circumstance, happy and sad, of our life and makes us understand the saving mystery of the Lamb who was slain and through his resurrection makes all things new. On this feast day, we feel in a special way the joy of the Spirit in our hearts and we give thanks to God for the gift of holiness imparted to the servant of God Giuseppe Ambrosoli, who is proclaimed blessed today. At the beginning of this celebration, we invoke the fire of the Holy Spirit to purify us and to renew and sanctify our lives by making us authentic witnesses of the gospel. Son of, Son of God, Universal King, you came to show every person the face of the Father. Kyrie Eleison. Son of God.
Let's be seated now. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let's now be seated. Now we begin the rite of beatification. His Grace Most Reverend John Baptist Sodama will come to petition the Delegate of the Holy Father to raise to the order of beatified Giuseppe Ambrosoli. Your Grace, you're most welcome. Most Reverend Father, the Church of God living in the Archdiocese of Gulu with the Institute of the Comboni Missionaries and the Comboni Missionary Sisters has humbly asked the Supreme Pontiff of wanting to enter among the number of the blessed the venerable servant of God, Giuseppe Ambrosoli. Postulator. Now the petition will be responded to. Postulator. Postulator. Now we need a postulator to come to read the biography. This beatification is the first of a Comboni missionary who accomplished in his life what he proclaimed with his lips. God is love, and I am his servant for the people who suffer. Blessed Joseph Ambrosoli combined faith and charity throughout his life. Without faith, a missionary has nothing to proclaim, but without charity, he can never proclaim Christ, the Savior of humanity. The priest and doctor Joseph Ambrosoli proclaimed Christ the Savior of body and souls, or rather, he took care of souls through caring for the physical ailments of their bodies. One of seven children, Joseph Ambrosoli was born on July 25th, 1923, in Ronago, in the province of Como, northern Italy, to Joseph Baptist Ambrosoli and Palmira Walli, and was baptized four days later in the local parish church on Sunday, 29th July. His education, took place in various academic institutions until he attended the University of Milan, where he was awarded a degree in medicine and surgery, and he undertook a course in tropical medicine and hygiene at the Institute of Tropical Medicine in London. At the age of 28, in October 1951, the young doctor, jo Joseph Ambrosoli, presented himself at the house of the Comboni missionaries in Como. At 32 years of age, he became a priest. He wrote on this day of his priestly ordination that he intended to be, throughout his life, a mirror whose true nature is to reflect on others the splendor of the divine love he had received. Priest and doctor, Blessed Ambrosoli, had already chosen the vocation 
that would shape his entire life, completely immersed in the love of God, is every human, professional, and priestly attribute would reflect God's closeness to all people, but especially to those in pain and suffering. That was exactly the meaning of words that he was fond of repeating when speaking of his missionary vocation as a doctor and priest. May they see Jesus in me. It is not a matter of doing things differently, but it is the way to deal with and to treat the ill and the sick. They must feel that the contract is truly fraternal because of the love of Christ. Only two months had passed since his ordination, and yet by the end of February 1956, Joseph was already in Calongo. Here with him, a great chapter of the Gospel of Charity begins. 31 years of missionary service spent in the shadow of this mountain and this church on the site of this hospital. In a short time, with the collaboration of some Comboni missionary priests and brothers and of some Comboni missionary sisters, Father Ambrosoli achieved the then almost unimaginable goals of establishing a functioning and a well-equipped hospital in Cologne and a school for midwives. A dream for many young women and a primary objective for the missionary work of the followers of Bishop St. Daniel Comboni, who always promoted the formation and preparation of local personnel. Young Ugandan women and men who could readily find a place in health units throughout Uganda and beyond due to the schools highly regarded the reputation for midwifery training and for the Christian values they have received in this structure belonging to the church. Not only a midwifery school, however, was established, but also a hospital that will be made famous by the surgeon of God, Blessed Joseph Ambrosoli, promoted the status of a woman in his midst, not only with the establishment of such men welcome structures, but much more with the care, respect, and indeed veneration in which he always held women, particularly for women who were pregnant in labor or during the period after their baby's birth. With the expansion of the hospital, the fame of the great doctor, the Ajuaco Madit, or Dr. Madit, of the Acholi people, spread far and wide. <laughs> In Calong, the sea converged from many corners of Uganda and even from other countries. Many are those who return to their places of origin, healed in body and in spirit. Father Ambrosoli reacted with great detachment to such a claim and was always careful to emphasize that it was not his fame with the should prevail, but rather the glory that was due to God. In one of his journals he wrote, to strive to seek in my work the glory of God and the good of souls, and at the same time to strive to be humble, dodging honors, and considering it right the success is always a grace from God. Indeed, Blessed Ambrosoli was the first to recognize that this work of God in Calong would not have been possible 
without the generous, enthusiastic, and the skilled participation of many women and men moved by the example of Jesus Christ or even by human solidarity. These are his many, many collaborators, the medical personnel and staff, the workers, the Comboni missionary sisters and brothers, and uh, his many benefactors whose names shine in God's heart. And I would like to say, are indelibly imprinted on this spur of basal rock the towers above all the hospital's many structures. Many doctors came to Cologne to help Father Abrozoli, some on permanent basis, others for a month or so a year. The hospital was becoming ever larger and more complex. However, its stunning success was to maintain the complex machine of running the hospital as a family in which everyone was welcome and valued as a co-worker and enabled to lend their skills for the good of all. The good of all. In 1980, the 10 ministers of internal affairs, after having been shown, shown uh, around Cologne Hospital, remarked, this is the only functioning hospital where we have in the country at the moment. People wondered how we manage all this, where he found the strength, bearing in mind that in that moment Uganda was going through one of the most turbulent periods of his history. The reason for such firmness, commitment, and availability as his own source in the prayer he used to raise in the very early hours of the morning and late in the night under a starry African sky. Here are his own words. We have to enter the circle of the Trinity and breathe with two lungs, contact with the Lord in the Eucharist and through selfless service to the sick. So, for Father Ambrosoli, there were two altars in Calongo, the altar of the Eucharist and the operating table, just as there are his two hands holding the host and ministering to a patient in need of care with the same reverence and respect. After so much dedication and fatigue, in 1982, Father Joseph's health became to deteriorate. As if that wasn't enough, civil war was raging in Ancholi land. Calongo was no longer a safe place Despite this, he assisted everyone. The situation, however, worsened. To his fellow missionaries, who were totally confused and in despair, the world was threatening. This is the moment in which one must understand why we have come here. On February 13 came the forced evacuation of the mission and of the hospital of Calongo. It has been said that the blessed Joseph Ambrosoli died twice. First of heartbreak at the time of the evacuation of Calongo and for the great suffering he felt for the young women from St. Mary's Midwifery School. Although gravely ill, gravely ill, he arranged for these Chinese midwives to complete their course in West Nile. 
his last great act of love. Then on Friday, 27th of March, 1987, he fell asleep in the Lord, offering his body and soul to him, whispering, Lord, may your will always be done. At that moment, he fulfilled what he had sought throughout his whole life, to serve the sick with the spirit of serving his Lord and Master, Jesus Christ. I would like to conclude with the prophetic words pronounced on the 10th anniversary of his death by the late Bishop of Como in Italy, Monsignor Alessandro Maggiolini. Father Joseph Ambrosoli will not be just another Italian saint. He will be both an Italian and a Ugandan saint at the same time. A telling example of communion between two churches and two peoples where it was meant by God to blossom. Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have heard the life, biography of Father Dr. Giuseppe Ambrosoli, and now we continue with the ceremony. Let us all stand. By mandate of His Holiness, I read the apostolic letter with which the Supreme Pontiff has described it among the number of the blessed, the venerable Serbaton God, Giuseppe Ambrosoli. Littere apostolice, nos Vota Pratris Nostri Ioannis Baptiste Odama, Archiepiscopi Metropolite Guluensis, Nec non plurimorum aliorum fratrum in episcopatu, multorumque Christi Fidelium explentes, de dicasteri de causis sanctorum consulto, autoritate nostra apostolica facultatem facimus, Ut venerabilis servus Dei, Iosefus Ambrosoli, Congregationis Missionariorum Comboniariorum Cordis Jesu, Presbiter Professus, Medicus et Sacerdos, qui sicut bonus Samaritanus in defesse proximus Proximum sese e genis fecit, adeorum corporis et anime vulnera curanda, beati nomine in posterum appelletur, atque dia due, duode trigesima mensis iuli, quotannis in locis et modis iure statutis celebrari possit. In nomine Patris, et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Datum Rome, Laterani, die Septimo, mensis Octobris, in memoria Beate Maria Virginis a Rosario. Anno Domini, bis millesimo, vicesimo, secundo, pontificatus nostri decimo, Franciscus. Waraga Cello, Archbishop Ubiquano, Ileb Mono, Kadong Kikwan, Ileb Mono, Chidong Wawero, Amen.
no wa jolo kit ma mich ma iglesia mi obotwa the decree of the proclamation is now going to be read in english apostolic letter we they accepting the wish of our brother John Baptist Odama, Metropolitan Archbishop of Gulu, of many brothers in the Episcopate, and of a great many faithful, having obtained the opinion of the Dicastery for the Cause of Saints, with our apostolic authority, we grant that the venerable servant of God, Giuseppe Ambrosoli, professed priest of the Congregation of the Combone Missionaries of the Heart of Jesus, doctor and a priest, who, as a good Samaritan, tirelessly made himself close to the needy to heal their wounds of body and soul. May he henceforth be called blessed and be celebrated every year on 28th of July in the places and according to the rules established by law. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Just a moment. Amen. was granted at Rome at the Lateran on the 7th of October this year. Memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary of the Rosary in the year of the, our Lord 2022, the 10th of our pontificate, signed by Pope Francis. With that now, we shall go to the unveiling of the image of Blessed Ambrosoli. Ki kwachman ki michma papa uminiwa kumbedi don ki biyabo chal pa lagumkom Ambrosoli. No wa weru weme yom chwiny mana ekare ma ugo ki jira ukut bila ki yom chwiny madira dida pian roba umi ki nwa dano maleng.
Roberto Mort, Sisters und auch Robert Pink. Roberto Mort. Let's remain standing so that the relic is being brought. Let's remain standing. We bear the young twin, carry chairman, make the kilo come. Me me waro dog me lega car, the car we go down here kin jo maleng. Oh, oh, oh. 
Mago be me on court, court one by Leng Papa. Be a Yim Dong, be Warroka Chenki Archbishop. Yoma, Kikwayo, give me your court. Court one by Leng Papa, a Chenki Archbishop, be a Yim. God blessed among us, now we want to express our gratitude to the Holy Father. And I invite His Grace and the following people to come, the Superior General of the Combody Missionary, fathers and brothers and sisters, the Mother General of the Little Sisters of Mary Immaculate of Gulu, Lucia Lomakol, whom God gave that miracle, Dr. Herrick Domini, who gave the image and asked from a call to pray. Then the parish priest of Kalongo, the parish representing Ronago, and a lay person from Ronago to come forward so that they can express to the Holy Father granting this special ceremony. Dr. Derek. The church that is in the Archdiocese of Gulu and in the Diocese of Como, with the Superior General of the Institute of the Comboni Missionaries, the Superior General of the Comboni Missionary Sisters, the Superior General of the Little Sisters of Mary Marklet of Gulu, Mrs. Lucia Lumukol the mother Karma Jong, who was cured, and Dr. Eric Domini, the gynecologist, who urged the nurses present there to invoke Venerable Giuseppe Ambrosoli, a representative of the medical staff of the hospital and the school of obstetrics, a representative of the people of Kalongo, with their parish priests, are all devoutly grateful to the successor of the apostolic Peter, successor of the apostle Peter, and give thanks 
to the Father of Jesus Christ and our Father to the God three times holy and raise the hymn of praise for having proclaimed blessed the venerable servant of God Giuseppe Ambrosoli. Let's clap. After that, we shall now have Gloria. the Gloria. Oh! 
let us pray. Almighty, even living God, whose will is to restore all things in your beloved Son, the King of the universe, grant, we pray, that the whole creation, set free from slavery, may render your majesty service and ceaselessly proclaim your praise. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Let us be seated and listen to the word of God meditatively as being proclaimed. Wabedu wano ping, wawinyo lok parba, wabedu ke waro, donkoni ikine kacha me poin pa la piscopi mautelo alega, la ditlo bio, walego ni dano pego interrupting lega, kibed mot, kibed la ling. A reading from the second book of Samuel. In those days, all the tribes of Israel came to David in Hebron and said, Behold, we are your bone and your flesh. In days past, when Saul was king over us, it was you who led out and brought in Israel. And the Lord said to you, You shall be shepherd of my people Israel and shall be prince over Israel. So all the elders of Israel came to the king at Hebron, and King David made a covenant with them there before the Lord. And they anointed David Kill. Apa kinin? Toshunun ngatekerin dadang Ebron. Neni Adaudi. Temasi. Kira. Ikira iswa akuan kon. Ka ngalkot kon. Ani paran. Eringa Saul ikipukat isua. Iyong ibu torik ngajorei ang Israel. Ido, emam itunganan ibu iyong toshaka. Abu ekapolon tema nenikon. Iyong iruwar Eke yokon ang itong wakang ang Israel. Iyong iruwar eke pukan kesh. Angun, toshunun ni kasiko ala Israel dadang Ebron. Neni adaudi. Ito, toshamunos erosit Daudi ka ikes alo eburon. Alo kingaren ekapolon. Toseut na i ikes Daudi. Kituruosi eruosit a Israel dadang. Verbum domini.
ki mai lobo gume dori ki ruba pito pa wode ikom ya taria a reading from the first letter of saint paul to the colossians chapter 1 verses 12 to 20 brethren we give thanks to the father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of the saints in light he has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved son in whom we have redemption the forgiveness of sins he is the image of the invisible god the firstborn of all creation for in him all things were created in heaven and on earth visible and invisible whether thrones or dominions or principalities or authorities all things were created through him and for him he is before all things and in him all things hold together he is the head of the body the church he is the beginning the first born from the dead that is everything he might be preeminent for in him all the fullness of god was pleased to dwell and through him to reconcile to himself all things whether on earth or in heaven making peace by the blood of his cross verbum do Let us turn for the gospel. Wachua chua mejo lo evangeli. At that time 
the rulers scoffed at Jesus, saying, He saved others. Let him save himself. If he is the Christ of God, his chosen one. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him vinegar and saying, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was also an inscription over him. This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals who were hanged railed at him, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation, and we indeed justly, for we are receiving the due reward of our deeds? But this man has done nothing wrong. And he said, Jesus, remember me when you come in your kingly power. And he said to him, Truly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Ikare maja, dana ma pol guchun kaneno. Walo loj bene, gubero kanyero yesu, kinyero chach, giwajo kwere ni. Eno laro jomu kene, Kwang dong o lara ke kene, ka ena ye kristo, ngat maro ba o yero. A che kere matye kanyo bene gunyoare, gumye kon vini ma wach, gi wajo kwere ni. Ka ini ruot palo yuda, lara ke keni. E kom yataria, ka we yeso, ono tye chot mani, Make choyo ki leb Greek, Latin, ki Ebrei ni man aye ruot palo yuda. La bada chel make gore kom yataria odange iwe yeso ni. Pe ina ye Kristo, la in wa wan bene. Ento la wora mo kene ni odai wye ni. In pale war ruba kare matiri mo kune ne ani in ki komi bene itie te chan achel wan ki foro wa kakare wati kato pi balwa ento la chone pe oti mu bal mo endong wa jo bor yeso ne po pira kai bi o ike meri. Yeso odwakane ada awachi nitin wawi bero kweri ipolo. The gospel of the Lord. Pedi la telega bimine wa mokicha kibuk paruba wa choya ria wa pchuwa mpura chuwa. Bedu modong wa koro cha me poin la piskope bimio poin bodwa. Let us be seated for the homily in silence and reverence so that the word of God is broken to us for our nourishment.
dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today is the last Sunday of the liturgical year. It is the solemnity of our Lord Jesus Christ, King of the universe, and we have the great joy to honor the new blessed Joseph Ambrosoli. I extend my heartfelt greetings to all the faithful present here, the Archdiocese of Gulu and his Archbishop, John Baptist Odama, and to the other brother bishops, to the clergy, the religious men and women, to the Comboni missionaries of the heart of Jesus with their general superior, Father Tesfaye Tadesse. In a special way, I would like to greet also the Diocese of Como with his bishop, Cardinal Oscar Cantoni, and the Ambrosoli family. I greet, I greet also the civil authorities and the President of the Republic of Uganda. The feast of Christ the King and the example of our blessed Joseph Ambrosoli offer us some inspirations for our Christian life. When proclaimed Jesus as a king, it is necessary to explain which kind of king he is. The kingly dimension of Christ is so important to the evangelist Luke that it appears from the beginning to the end of Jesus' earthly life and accompanies his entire ministry. The Gospel now proclaimed presents Jesus on the cross. It appears without power as defined it by the word or by human glory. His throne is the cross. Jesus' reign is truly not of this world. His eternal and universal kingdom is a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice, love, and peace. The leaders of the people, the soldiers, and a criminal mock Jesus and provoke him in the same way. Save yourself. They ask Jesus not to accomplish the mission given to him by the Father, but to promote himself to come down from the cross and destroy his enemies. In the beginning of his public ministry, the devil tempted Jesus to give up reigning as God wills and instead to reign according to the world's ways. Pope Francis said, this temptation is a direct attack on love. Save yourself, no others but yourself. Claim triumph for yourself with your power with your glory, with your victory. It is the most terrible temptation, the first and the last of the gospel. He continues rather to love, he forgives, he lives this moment of trial according to the Father's will, certain that love will be Fruit. Jesus is a king who comes to save. He told to the so-called good thief on the cross near him, today you will be with me in paradise. The first reading narrates the consecration of David as king of Israel. His kingdom became the symbol of a kingdom of peace and justice that God 
would one day establish on earth. Many people in Israel expected that the Messiah will re-establish the kingdom of David. Also, the apostles, just the day of the ascension, asked him, Lord, are you at this time to restore the kingdom of Israel? But some people, the prophets, the humble and poor of spirit, were thinking that the way of intervention of God will be very different from this idea of power and dominion. In the second reading, St. Paul teaches that the Father has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we find redemption and the forgiveness of sins. Jesus is the king of the universe, will the sole power of love, because God is love. The Christians are invited to personally accept Jesus as the Lord of their lives, and also to follow his way of being king and uh, to fix the gaze on the crucified one and to become ever more faithful to him. It is not enough to confess that Jesus is the king of the universe because he desires to be united with us and to become the Lord of our hearts. We are called to follow his example of love, humility, donation until the passion and death at the resurrection for the salvation of all. <coughs> the new blessed offers a great example of a person who did not look to his own interest, but his life was completely and tireless giving for the healing of wounds and bodies and souls of the needy as a priest and a doctor. The apostolic letter of Pope Francis presents him as a good Samaritan. We are invited to consider the heroic virtues of the new blessed Giuseppe Ambrosoli faith, hope, charity, humility, goodness, patience, generosity, spirit of service, sense of duty, availability. According to all the people who knew him, he was extraordinarily humble. He accomplished in his life what he proclaimed with his lips. God is love and I am his servant for the people who suffer. He, he combined faith and charity throughout his life and he took care of souls to caring of the physical ailments of the body, bodies. He wrote on the day of his priestly ordination that he intended to be throughout his life a mirror both to nature is to reflect on others the splendor of the divine light he had received. Completely immersed in the love of God, his every human, professional, and priestly attribute would reflect God's closeness to all people, but especially to those in pain and suffering. Only two months had passed since his ordination, and yet by the end of February 1956, Giuseppe was already in Calongo. Here with him, a great chapter of the Gospel of Charity begins, 
31 years of missionary service spent in the shadows of this mountain and this church on the side of this hospital. In Kalongo, the Sikh converged for many corners of Uganda, and even from other countries. Many are those who returned to their places to, of origin, healed in their bodies and in their spirits. Father Ambrosoli was famous as doctor, but he reacted with great detachment to such a claim and was always careful to emphasize that it is not his fame which should prevail, but rather the glory that was due to God. He, he wrote to strive to seek in my work the glory of God and the good of souls, and at the same time to strive to be humble, dodging honor, and consider it, it right that success is always a grace from God. Indeed, Blessed Ambrosoli was the first to recognize that the great achievements reached in Kalongo would not have been possible without the generous, generous, enthusiastic, and skilled participation of many women and men moved by the example of Jesus Christ. People wondered how he managed all this, where he found the strength. He was a man of prayer. The reason of such firmness, commitment, and availability had its own source in the prayer he used to raise in the early hours of the morning and late in the night under a starry sky. Here has, are his own words. We have to enter the circle of the Trinity and breath with two lungs, contact with the Lord in the Eucharist, and through selfless service to the sick. So for Father Ambrosoli, there were two altars in Kalongo, the altar of the Eucharist and the operating table. Just as there are his two ends holding the host and ministering to a patient in need of care with the same reverence and respect. With his proverbial smile on his lips, he was always serene in his attitude and rich of Christian hope also in the troubles. He suffered personal health problems and he faced many difficulties and challenges in accomplish his mission. After so much dedication and fatigue, in 1982, Father Giuseppe's health began to deteriorate. When a violent armed conflict was raging in the Acholi land, he assisted everyone. When he arrived the order to leave the mission and abandon the hospital, his words to his fellow missionaries were heartening courage. This is the moment in which one must understand why we have come here. On Friday, 27th of March, 1987, he fell asleep in the Lord, offering his body and soul to him, whispering, Lord, may your will be all will always be done. The hospital of Kalongo and the school of midwives was his life and they are his monument and legacy. This legacy has to continue and also grow with the collaboration of all. The solemnity of Christ the King is also the celebration of the World Day, Youth Day in the local churches throughout the world. The theme of the message of the Holy Father for this year is Mary arose and went with Harry. 
the youth can find an extraordinary model in the blessed Giuseppe. As we honor blessed Giuseppe Ambrosoli, we turn our hearts to Jesus Christ, King of the universe, as we acclaim him as our Lord and Savior. Blessed Joseph Ambrosoli, pray for us. Amen. We are we are point my keyboard that a leg of my Omega kilo megena i Cristo. Tin Dominica me a girki me mo rapa Ecclesia. Ma wa kweri ye Dominica par ruot wa Jesus Cristo. Ruot me lo bokolo. Tin wa mi o yom twin ki war ma dit mada pi Lagum Com, Joseph Ambrosoli. Achuano, more madit, ma aki, kurtuna ki come. Borluye, du du magitikan. Borladit, Archbishop, John Baptist Odama. Ma entier, la quad madit, magulu archdiocese. But umegine lo piscopi duju magitikan padi lodini chokimon lomdul me komboni missionaries me aduno maleng pa Jesu Christo ladit mamegi padre tesfayeta dese kidong makaro duju amiro chualo mota but Bishop Cardinal Oscar Cantoni, my archdiocese, my common, kidong amoro tutuan lupayo pa Dr. Ambrosoli, ke ludiro, lutidmiri, lutui wibie, my Uganda Chimakaro President, my Uganda. La did lobo. Ni anamatini, Dominica, me Christ the King, parward wa Jesu Christo. Nyoti wa gien ma piere tek. Dr. Ambrosoli, mala gumkom, machalo, ngat ma miro iltuin wa malo, ikuwa wa machalo, luye lo Christo. Evangeli, ma wan wa winyo tin. Tie ka nyoro ka manen, Yesu Christo, ma chalo ruot iwi ataria. Nen chalo, ngat ma pe ki kero, ikit padano, dak deyo pe kome. Ikit padano, yada, Jesu Christo, kene ono pere, watere ono bene pe, ento, en kene, aye, mekelo, ada, kikuo, doke, makelo, kuo maleng, kigrasia, ngol mati, ma, kikuj. Lute la paluak, a chekere, ka chien, ki la bala chien, ma ki guru, Jesu Christo kwede, gubero ka ngale, ma ki chaye, da gupenyo Jesu ni, miro, u kerde, kome kekere, u kato ke waro lo pen, ki wi ataria, wek, en, Uban terapalumonene 
Yada Yesu Kristo ya chaki metiche kinlua eno no atama tama madit mapewache mabene tie machalo aria iko miri paroba ikir mela arodano dore yada kir ma papa francis wadu kwere iwara gane man ubero Atemate ma madit ki luen ikom tero ki deo paroba ma mero Yesu Kristo uken Yesu Kristo eno biro machalo ruot dok ruara da malaro dano iwi ataria eno nyuro kama nei Bon la kuma ngor pibale ni ada and rot malaro dano we wa ju bore kama leng ni tina tina wan wa bero kweri ideyo mepolo ikwan me achen wan wa winyo lok ikom kir maki wi yero kweri da wudi we ro be rot pa lu yuda jo israel Mantie la nyot madit ikom ke kitela pa Yesu Kristo ke paroba mekuch king on mati ibilo boduju down on my pon go bero katamuni en Yesu Kristo uno bibino kamio ke manyen ikir pa da wudi kikome ento ke pa Yesu Kristo no pat dano gupenyo magi wajo di mana yedu kar mo mo romo medwa ko ke pa da wudi che uno peati ikwan ma ario paulo maleng kuonyo wa lok ma pire tek ni roba won ubino kalaro wa ke ilot metrol pen dog mekwanya wa woro metiero ike meta pa wore ma amara ma i jesu kristo wan wa no la reme ada wekoban lot ikom ban jesu ena ye rot melo bada dok en tie ki tero ma miera tira ena ye ni tero mema lo cristo lo ye duji kom cristo ki lo wan me bedo chok ki jesu cristo dok me kwanyo yo ma cristo unyoro borwa Me aloba ma wachiro wangwa ikom en Kristo iwiataria ma era ye rod melobokolo lagum ko manyen matin wan wa kweroni ki ino mara borwa wero nyot borwa kama nei ko mati me mine la bon olo Mechiao red mekom ki mechwin kir ma enotimo machalo dakta iwara gane papa francis nyuro lagum koman manyen machalo la samaria mabe miro wakwany kir pa lagum kom ambrosoli giuseppe Kwa me ye ma tut gen ma pe yenga tata kwa me ma mutum bwana atira tira tikit dio twin nywa kwa kwa kilo warwa tutwale magitiki chan me teach bodgi kare duju Dok mebero 
a terra já duju piti mugen mamete maluba ki chaden madan mapon gimoro ikwone en unyuro kidoge ni roba girema dok en itie latich paroba pijoma gichane magitie pao en oribo lok ario mapigitego kwa meye kwa mema pikwone kulo dok ugwaro tibu padano uchiao bene red mekom madano nogiti kwede ikare maen uno sacramento me orodini en uchoe lok mapire tek maudong ni kwone miro ubed machal maraya manyuro deo paruba mema ma en kikome ino piman yada ikalon Dano mapon ikarma en ubino imwa elfu achen mia bongwen kipiara beach we are bichen gugore gubero ka word bore kitwa globo mapart part me uganda kan wek gibien ginong chauman mekom kimetibo ambrozoli Ubero dakta mujue katira. Ento utote diwoki dicheng. Menyuro deo paruba ikwone. Dokbene melaro kuo padano mekom kimetibo. Utote tutuan doko kuo machado ngad mabwane. Ubero kaweyo deyo makimio bore ikuo mewilobo man. Yada lagumkom ambrozoli eno beru ngat machien ikien mukene. Meti mugena wura mekonyo dano iyo ma entuero. Ubero kia rima mapewache kidiyer ma entikwere mene eno ni. Mon kicho mapon gukwanyo kuo pa Yesu Kristo. Dara mukeno gubero kangeng tutuan ikuone pien nogineno tero maaki bore. Eno beru ngatma uno maro legatira. Dokbene ngatma uno petage kauke mekipero. Unyuroni idier kuona da dorono tia tera kare duju piterma enno kilega metimo gien mamite waya gikine kien maruba miro uwero eno wajoni miro wadon ikuo patrinita maleng dorbene ubo wa miro ubed kabuke Ki teroman mawano ki borward wa Yesu Kristo i eokrastia. Ada ambrozoli udiero kuone labon olo wa yagikine. Imwara elfa chien mia bungwen ki piara bor wia rio. Padre Giuseppe come udoro goro yot come udoro pin udok pin pipero meluen mauno tie kikuru kuru mauno tie kany uwero gen go awaro ki iparish nyo mission mekalon kachien 
ki ar yar kalon kere ber kumero en u beru ki tek chwin dok bere u wajuni miro ki niang ma be pitian nok ma wero gero no gitie i ka beru man dok jame man tikati me Isia beach many of the people we are bero medwe ma der imwa elfa chen mia bongwen ki fiara bor we are bero ero you e gere mort i ruot ma u dier come ka chen ki tibone ma u bero ka wajone duan ma muon ni ruot Wek mirnia yeo ti me. Ord yad kalon, skul me ponyo, lo dero me chiolo, tie kanyoro kamaneng, kuo palagum kom ambrozoli. Kir ma en unok tie kwede ki kome. Dongir ma mitre, Era yemen era ni ribe nyuaro tich uberu tie pedano juju wek la kid day me kwoman o mede penara Dominica man pa Jesu Kristo ruad bene iglesia katolika kolo e wilobo uberu ni no melega kachien kibulo uberu ni no pa bulo ki kome dong lo baro pa papa tie imwagani ni maria wa malo tio tiero yot bulo mero go kwany la nen me awura pa la gum kom giuseppe ambrosoli wa mi war ki deo bot la gum kom giuseppe ambrosoli wa ilo chinwa bot jesu cristo ruot melo bokolo dog ben wa yuero pire machalo ruot wa kila la wa la gum kom giuseppe ambrosoli lek pe wan Amen. Obero dong la ling wa lori kom lok parba. Chinge wa be waja waja lega me ye. Brothers and sisters, in obedience to the word of God, we renew the faith we received on the day of our baptism, committing ourselves to love God and our brothers and sisters in communion with the entire Catholic Church. I believe in one God, the Father.
brothers and sisters, let us raise with confidence our supplication to Christ, King of the universe, allowing ourselves to be inspired by the charity that shines in the example of blessed Giuseppe Ambrosoli. Those who have their offertories, please, you can slowly give them out as we offer our prayers to God. Pray for Pope Francis and the Universal Church. For the Apostolic Nuncio, Luigi Bianco. For bishops, John Baptist Odama and Cardinal Oscar Cantoni and the local churches of Gulu and Como for the Comboni missionaries and the Comboni missionary sisters for the little sisters of Mary Immaculate of Gulu and for all consecrated men and women we invoke God, dispenser of all charisms and ministries. Lord, hear us. For the government of Uganda, for all authorities and public institutions, for our cities, towns, villages, and their inhabitants, we implore God who protects everyone. Lord, hear us. Ambrosoli family alive or dead for having given to the Lord and to the actual people Father Ambrosoli that time I did with a good heart and a pure spirit we, in, we implore God the source of all blessings Lord hear us especially those who are hospitalized, for those wounded in their bodies and in their hearts, we implore God, the Father of all consolation. Lord, hear us. For those who care for the poor and the weak, for those who promote the voluntary sector and the culture of solidarity, for those who have asked us to remember them to the Lord, we implore God to help the poor. Lord, hear us. For vocations to priesthood, consecrated life, and holy marriage, we implore the Lord to give to young people a spirit of fortitude and of service, to commit themselves to work for the church and for the society, 
Lord, hear us. For the eternal rest of our departed brothers and sisters, especially those who've died through violence and wars, we invoke the God of life. Lord, hear us. charity of the priest blessed Joseph caused the church's mission of caring for the most needy to shine forth grant to his intercession and example that bearing witness to the gospel of salvation we may become instruments of your mercy through Christ our Lord Amen let us be seated Jo mago bichoro tiewa bibio nates maguru veil salo sisters ge ke bomba blue dulme ario o bibera lumina no lutiano kwan machon me kalo midwifri maguru bongi pa sisters mano go oirwom pa nases eleven enoni kidong jo me adek bibero montua Magitiki ribon manyuru ni gien miere gugam tie ni pei mi tie bornget ma miere pei mi. It's time for offertory. Three groups are going to collect our offertory: the nurses, the student nurses with veils, alumina sisters in the level of the nursing training, and montua with ribbon. Let us offer to God what He has given us.
Gati Kivini Tie Malok Tie Mekum Christo Kikome Kum Kiritno Ka Christo We bring to the altar bread and wine that will become the body and the blood of Christ for our physical and spiritual nourishment. We offer also the gifts that God has given us for without God we can offer nothing. God has given us this gift. But the most important gift that God has given us is the gift of Himself in the form of bread and wine. Kiremone, Chalomat, Dokcham, Makwara Tibua.
Shiboria, please come forward. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. As we offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice by which the human race is reconciled to you, we humbly pray that it may bring unity and peace to the world. And through the intercession of blessed Giuseppe Ambrosoli, confirm us in our generous, generous dedication to you and to our brothers and sisters, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you anointed your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the oil of gladness as eternal priest and king of all creation, so that by offering himself on the altar of the cross as a spotless sacrifice to bring us peace, he might accomplish the mysteries of human redemption and making all created things subject to his rule. He might present to the immensity of your majesty an eternal and universal kingdom, a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice, love, and peace. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Thank mm -hmm. you.
to you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition to Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, may you accept and bless this gift, this offerings, this holy and ambitious sacrifice, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her to about the whole world. Together with the observant princes, our Pope, my brother John Baptist, the Bishop of this church, and me, your unworthy servant, and all those who, holding to the truth, and on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves, and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of faith, health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord, Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, gracefully accept this oblation of our service that of your whole family under our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O oh God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve these offerings in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of our most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he turned with haze, raised to heaven. To you, O oh God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, we begin giving up for you. In a similar way, when supper was handed, he took the chalice, his precious chalice, in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be proud for you and for many, for give forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. You proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion and resurrection from the dead and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we 
your servants and your holy people offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this post victim, the holy bread and eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant, Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest, Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who brought this participation on the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with heavy grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with a sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who those sinners hope in your abundant mercies. Graciously grant sons of Uganda. We dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, as it is in heaven. Give us this day. the Lamb of God, we all him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. For our communion, those who are prepared will receive. There will be priests coming where you are. You don't need to move. They will come, and you will see them come right now. Omagu yope. Be seated now. May we pray the sacrament of the Eucharist. You bet come at the year. The sacred or the bowl of mugu may be king all of you. Me, who work, who know that no come at the year. Who did not get mano onero bekele. Uku kum Kristo ke kama unu tie ye dusa sedo tima Paul ripeke Kristo inianoman mini wa gracia madirt atira wero wanbene 
waberu chalo lagumkum ambrozori luwe wabweru we meokarestia
let us all stand for the Thanksgiving song.
Let us now recollect ourselves, having thanked God. Let us have a minute of silence before we move to the next. Obedu la ling, waluodo ikom sacramento, mawano ikuawa. Let us now stand. Let us pray. Lord, you give us Christ, the King of all creation, as food for everlasting life. Help us to live by his gospel bring us to the joy to his kingdom and help us to imitate the example of blessed Giuseppe Ambrosoli who worked tirelessly for the good of your people. To Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's be seated. The next function is a concluding word of gratitude led by his grace our Archbishop, again, a company missionaries, fathers and brothers, Superior General, and the delegated Mother General of the Comboni Sisters, Little Sisters of Mary Maclet of Gulu, and a relative of Blessed Ambrosoli. May they come forward, please. Our main celebrant, co celebrants, fellow brothers and sisters. The Laity, Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, with all the ministers, all the various branches of the government, the members of the parliament, all invited from near and afar especially foot pilgrims, all parents, with the children, those often I call Bulu and Nginingini,
the children in the hands of their mothers and the babies in the wombs. We are here to present a vote of thanks. First, to God. Second, to His Holiness, the Pope, Pope Francis, represented here by his delegate, the Apostolic Nuncio to Uganda. To our president for honoring this occasion by his presence. All the ministers, all the dignitaries, especially this needs to be mentioned, the Chief Justice of Uganda, all the clergy, the religious, and our friends from outside Uganda. The choir, the choir. The security, the altar servers, those who took part in the liturgy as dancers and the gifts, we are very grateful to you for honoring and being present on this occasion while blessed Father Dr. Ambrosoli is being enlisted among the saints in heaven. He is our representative now. When we have needs, we go through him, say, Ambrosoli, we know you. You are a part of us. You are our flesh. Why don't you plead to the Almighty for our needs? For example, right now Uganda is battling with a terrible virus called Ebola. Dr. Ambrosoli, bless it. Will this defeat you to ask the Lord to say, Ebola, stop? <laughs> so that the people of Uganda are healthy and they move freely. Let also COVID-19 disappear in Uganda. We also extend to you our prayer Plead, please, for the war that is going on between Ukraine and Russia. Those are our brothers and sisters. They're of your flesh and your blood too. You can plead to God to say, hey, hey, you are my image. Why do you fight? Stop. God can do that as you are very near to him to say those words. For the rest, fellow brothers and sisters who have come to glorify God on the day of the Christ the King and also to honor our brother, blessed Father, Dr. Ambrosoli, may you have very peaceful end of the year 2022 and enter the year 2023 safely. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you very much, Your Grace. Right now, what follows is we are going to have the final blessing. After the final blessing, two exercises will take place. There will be interaction of the bishops who have come to celebrate with us, including bishop-elect. And after that, we shall hear a few words from people who are to speak. There are not very many, so we will not stay long. And once it's finished, concluded by His Excellency, then that will conclude our session today. I hand now to my colleague, Father Paul Rome. Let us stand for the final blessing. Wa ayumalo pigamo mukicha mea gike. As representative of His Holiness Pope Francis, it is my honor and pleasure to transmit to all of you his apostolic blessing, his pledge of abundant graces. The Lord be with you. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. Our help is in the name of the Lord. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Before Jesus Christ, Christ, praise be Jesus Christ. Si aludato Jesus Christ. Eccellenza, grazie. Grazie di questa celebrazione. Siamo contenti che uno di noi, un esempio grande, sta davanti al Signore. Grazie mille per questa celebrazione. O poi Matek, non si ho mai detto che è messa a mano, ma l'ing, o mi ho uno poi, ma non si ho mai detto che è lega a mano. Umini wamo kicha madit, machalo la wang papa ikienwa. Thank you very much, the Apostolic Nuncio to Uganda representing the Pope in this celebration. Let us give him again a mighty eclab. With the Nuncio, we have had some bishops who have been present with us. And the first one is Wong Gang. Archbishop John Baptist Odama. Your Grace, thank you very much. Thanks to His Grace John Baptist Odama, who has been very closely monitoring this celebration until today. Thank you, Your Grace. We have the Bishop of uh, Arua, Right Reverend Savino Chano Dore. Welcome home. We have Bishop Damiano, Bishop of Moroto. Bishop, welcome. We have Bishop Filippi, Emeritus Mekotiro, Bishop of Oemateak. We 
we have Bishop Sanctus Uanoak. Bishop Meliera. Bishop, thank you for coming home. We take a Bishop Waurat. Min Navy. Bishop, Opoyo. Bishop Emeritus Meliera. Bishop Franzeli. Wajuli Gang. We have also Bishop elect Bishop of Cotido, Bishop Dominic, you was welcome, Bishop Mekotido. Dominic, a ere Bishop Mekotido, Maputi Yera Yera, Pia Kiwiro, Kiluani, Bishop Ayera, Bishop elect. Watiki Monsignor. Uh, Kauta, Secretary General of the Episcopal Conference of Uganda. Bishop Kauta, uh, no, Monsignor Kayota Wafoyo, Dogo Chema, no. Thank you, Monsignor Kauta. We have the Monsignor representing various uh, bishops here. If you are a Monsignor, we welcome you and thank you very much. I'm not going to mention your names now. And all our priests. Thank you for grazing this uh, occasion. Please, please stand up. What are you doing? Wa malo pati. Dano miro ne nu wu wu na yelo pok sacramento dog miro dog maleng chala mbrozoli bene. Let us let us give a mighty clap to our priests. Ikin give me a dikon, dikon wapoyo, dikon ke wiro ke me konyo lupiscopi kilo sachero, dikon wapoyo. Thank you, dikons. We also want to acknowledge uh, the presence of the religious and their superior generals. I'm not going to list all the religious around. Please, sisters, please stand up and we acknowledge your presence. They are also religious brothers. We thank you very much. And their superiors, brothers, thank you very much. And all of you, the faithful of Christ, we acknowledge your presence. The other political dignitaries will be acknowledged by those who are supposed to acknowledge them. But there is one thing that we are not going to postpone. We need also to acknowledge the presence of His Excellency Yuweri Kaguta Museveni, the President of the Republic of Uganda. Your Excellency, thank you for being present in this occasion. Don't be a Wamiro, Jolly Kinwa, Bishops Mapat Pat, Magu Aki, Idini, Mukene, no church, may Uganda, keep Bishops Mapapat, when Kamoti, Oa, when Luaro Jolu, what poem attack. Don't be a Miro, Twalo Lok, Ochet Mabo to Twal. We don't want to prolong this moment. We want to thank everyone. In fact, we should not be thanked for coming to pray, but we do it for formality that we thank you for your presence. But your presence is for your own good. So thank yourself. And don't say I was not thanked. I better more. Doc Julie Pierre. So the way, what for you? Kono Doc Madwan Urue, Tino Pepe, what for you, Mater? Totum. Mega don't get Kakain. Don't what Donyo, Ilok, Machego Chego. Professor Callisto will help us in this matter.
May I now invite the Vicar General, Monsignor Matthew Dong, to come on behalf of the organizing team to speak. Before Jesu Christo. Before Jesu Christo. Our main celebrant is Excellency the Apostolic Nuncio to Uganda, Luigi Bianco. Our chief guest is Excellency. Yuri Kaguta, President of the Republic of Uganda. His Grace, Dr. John Baptist Sudama, as Bishop of Gulu. All the bishops present, my brothers, the priests, religious men and women of consecrated life, the dignitaries in your respective capacities, all the pilgrims, all the pilgrims who have come for this important occasion. I stand here on behalf of the Central Organizing Committee who was charged by his grace, the most reverend Dr. John Baptist Odama, to plan to organize this special day. My message to you today is found on the magazine, God's Suffering, God's Servant to the Suffering People, on page 22 so that I don't take much time on this. However, let me just say this. The success of this day is due to the prayers, financial and material support from all people of goodwill. In a very special way, I would like to thank His Excellency Yoweri Kagota Museveni, President of the Republic of Uganda, for the financial support he has given to the Archdiocese for this occasion. Thank you, Your Excellency, for your generous consideration. As the Central Organizing Committee, we could not do mass without your intervention. Thank you once again. Let us give a big applause again to His Excellency, the President. As we listened in the homily of the nuncio this morning, in the Catholic Church, when one is beatifies or canonizes, it is a declaration that the person practice heroic virtue and that the person live in fidelity to God's grace. This is according to the Catechism of the Catholic Church. Thanks to the heroic witness of charity of Father Dr. Blessed Joseph Ambrujoli, the component missionaries of the heart of Jesus Christ. Let us give a big applause to him. As our Archbishop said, Blessed Joseph Ambrujoli is our intercessor now in heaven. 
When we go to go through him, for sure God will listen to our prayer. Lastly, I'd like to thank each and every one of you, the subcommittees. I'd like to thank you wholeheartedly for your dedicated commitment which made this celebration a big success. Many of us, many of us were worried in the last one week how the weather would be. How the weather would be. You can see today that is a beautiful weather. And I think this is another miracle that Dr. the Blessed Ambrujoli has done. Choir and members of the COC, please, I ask you not to go away today. We shall pray tomorrow at 7 o'clock in the morning and sit and make the a review of how it has gone today. Then later on, we proceed to our destinations. Please don't go away without taking some water. Pia Maratie for today. And when that time comes, may God bless you abundantly and trouble with you through the powerful intercession of blessed Joseph Ambrujoli. Thank you. Thank you very much, Monsignor Matthew. I now have the honor to invite the Superior General of the Komboni Missionaries, fathers and brothers, to say a few words. Your Grace, Monsignor Luigi Bianco, Apostolic Nuncio, and Papal Delegate for the Beatification of Blessed Giuseppe Ambrosoli, Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, Your Grace, Archbishop John Baptist Odama, Archbishop of Archdiocese of Gulu, Your Lordships, the Bishops present, priests and religious, honorable ministers and other government officials, religious leaders from other churches, and religious leaders of all faiths present here, and pilgrims from all over Uganda and from the different parts of the world who are present here with us. I speak on behalf of the Komboni missionaries, and I want to thank the Lord with you. We are grateful to God for this great day when our fellow Komboni missionary, Father Giuseppe Ambrosoli, is beatified. We thank the parishioners and the people of Kalongo for having helped, having welcomed the idea of having the beatification here in Kalongo where Blessed Joseph Ambrosoli served for years and where he rests among his people. We, the Comboni missionaries, are grateful that His Grace Archbishop John Baptist Odama and the local church in the Archdiocese of Gulu agreed to the idea and did the necessary steps to officialize the decision to have the beatification be done in Kalongo. We are grateful to the Archdiocese for all that has been done to make this historical event as colorful as it is. We thank the Vatican Dicastery for the cause of saints, for the work and discernment invested in the cause for the beatification of Father Giuseppe Ambrosoli. We commend the dedication of Father Arnaldo Barituccio, our postulator general, who worked day and night for many years so that Blessed Joseph Ambrosoli be beatified. I ask you to clap for our postulator general. We thank those who have helped him, in particular, the Archbishop of Gulu, the Vicar General, Monsignor Matthew Dong, the Archdiocesan Postulator of Gulu, Father Joseph Okumu, the Provincial Superior of uh, the Komboni Missionaries in Uganda, and also Father Cosimo de Yako, who uh, lately came and helped, and the Parish Priest of uh, Kalongo, Father Ramon Vargas, and the whole community and the Komboni missionaries and the sisters, little sisters of Mary Immaculate and the parish council. We thank 
We are grateful to the Komboni missionaries who are present here from different provinces. We have uh, Komboni missionaries who came from South Sudan with their provincial, from Germany with their provincial, from Egypt, Sudan with their provincial, from South Africa, the incoming provincial. We have uh, people from Congo, Komboni missionaries from Congo, and we have, of course, Komboni missionaries working here in Uganda. We are greatly indebted to Mr. Mrs. Giovanna Ambrosoli and the family of Blessed Ambrosoli and the Diocese of Como and the Friends of Kalongo from Italy with whom we celebrate in communion of prayer. We can clap for them in their absence. Today is a special day for all of us in the Comboni family. It is a great day for the church in Uganda and particularly in the Archdiocese of Gulu where many missionary and local bishops, priests, sisters, brothers, catechists, and lay ministers have served God and the people of God. We are celebrating the beatification of Father Giuseppe Ambrosoli in communion with the family, with uh, the local church of the Diocese of Como, its pastor, his eminence, Oscar Cardinal Cantoni, and the entire diocese. We have a lot to learn from Blessed Ambrosoli. We celebrate him today as a hero of Christian faith and missionary service. We Comboni missionaries and the whole church today promise to commit ourselves to learn something from the life of Blessed Joseph Ambrosoli and make it a reality of God's grace in our life. Once again, thank you to all of you and may the prayers of Blessed Ambrosoli help us all. Ofoyo Matek. Thank you. Let us now listen from the delegate of the Mother General represented here. Your Excellency, the President of, Uganda, of the Republic of Uganda, Erika Guta Museveni, Your Grace, Monsignor Luigi Bianco, Apostolic Nuncio of Uganda, of Uganda his Grace the John Baptist Odama, Archbishop of Gulu, my Lord Bishops, Monsignors, Most Reverend Father Tesfayeta Dese, Superior General of the Comboni Missionaries, Father Achilles Kiwanuka, Superior, Provincial Superior of Uganda Province, respectful representatives of the Uganda government, civil and political dignitaries, Dear confreres, sisters, lay people of the Combonian family, priests, religious, and all the people of God, felicitations and greetings on these joyful occasions. I would have liked to be present in person to celebrate with you and together thank the Lord for the gift of Father Giuseppe Ambrosoli for the good love and healing the Lord has shared through his humble missionary priest and doctor, and for having made him a simple instrument of his love and care for humanity, for the people of Uganda in particular. Be sure that even if I am far, geographically speaking, I am present with you in spirit so are my counselor and all the Comboni missionary sisters. Yes, today is a day of deep joy for the church in Gulu and in all of Uganda as this son of Comboni, faithful servant of God, Father Giuseppe Ambrosoli, is honored by God through the church which recognizes in his humble service as priest and doctor, a life given over to God in dedicated service to his brothers and sisters. No doubt, St. Daniel Comboni is also rejoicing in heaven today as he recognizes one of his own sons who followed his path of making common cause and of living that total availability to others we can hear echo in the life of blessed Giuseppe Ambrosoli 
of the life project of Comboni. Come day, come night, come sun, come rain, I shall always be ready to serve your needs, the rich and the poor, the healthy and the sick, the young and old, masters and servants will always have equal access to my heart. Your good, will, your good will be mine, and your sorrows shall be mine. I make a common cause with each one of you. Father Giuseppe Ambrosoli, throughout his life, nourished and lived a deep love of Je for Jesus and his brothers and sisters, receiving from the Eucharistic presence the strength to assist and help the most fragile people. He was a man of welcome and generosity, rich in charity and love, with a strong and deep Christian mind and heart. He was for all those he met, the good news of the merciful God. May the joy and the happiness of this day be for the faithful of Uganda and for the Comboni family an opportunity to reflect and to renew our commitment to giving over our lives to the Lord in the joyful service of our brothers and sisters. May we all imitate his commitment to the people, his passion and generosity, his vision and courage, his sense of God. May blessed Giuseppe Ambrosoli intercede for us and inspire us to put the mission of, at the heart of all we do. On behalf of my council and indeed of all the, my sisters, I assure you of our prayers for all of you here present, for your families and for Uganda that Father Ambrosoli loved so much. May God bless you, unite with you, Today and always, Sister Amari Quig, Superior General. Let's clap for the Superior General. Now we have two words from a priest speaking on behalf of the Diocese of Como, Don Bianchi. Monsignore Nunzio Apostolico, Monsignore Vescovi, mi permettete qualche parola in italiano? Però lo devo proprio dire, non sostituisco il mio vescovo cardinal Oscar Cantoni che non ha potuto venire perché in questi giorni sta uscendo il documento ufficiale dell'undicesimo sinodo diocesano. Ma quello che volevo dire è che Dall'inizio degli anni Ottanta io sono andato con vari volontari sempre in Caramogia e il beato Giuseppe Ambrosoli per radio mi diceva ma insomma vieni almeno una volta anche a Calongo e se trovo qualche, qualcuno che mi porta vengo e non sono mai riuscito ad arrivare a Calongo soltanto quest'anno anche perché Monsignor Guzzetti Monsignor Giuseppe di Cotido mi hanno sostenuto sono venuto ripeto a esaurire quella richiesta che il padre Ambrosoli mi faceva prima che morisse all'inizio degli anni Ottanta. Padre Ubero Cacchello Lorpa, Bishop Me Como, Bishop Me Diocese of Blessed Ambrosoli. Ma Enwajani, Bishop Peo Romobino, Pieneni. 
Tie Kachako Sinod Mea Parachel Medai Sese Chidong Eno Ribowa Uripe Kwedwa Kachel Ilegaman. The representative of the Bishop of Como communicated to us that his bishop, even if he cannot substitute him, did not come because right now is preparing an official document for the 11th Synod of his diocese. And therefore, he has not been with us, but he has been praying to, together with us and has the great desire to come to Kaloa, where Blessed Ambrosoli has lived. Thank you, Father, for that message. Now, we are having a small exercise here. There will be gifts by the postulator and the component missionaries here. On this wonderful occasion of the beatification of Father Joseph Ambrosoli, as postulator of the cause of canonization, I would like to express a deep appreciation to the main celebrant, the Apostolic Nuncio, His Grace Luigi Bianco, to thank him for presiding over this memorable, memor memorable celebration today. I take the opportunity of requesting His Excellency to convey to the Holy Father, Pope Francis, our depths of gratitude for approving the process that led to the beatification here in Calongo of, Ble of Blessed Joseph, and for appointing His Nuncio in Uganda to of officially represent him and this solemn ceremony. I would also like to take the opportunity of expressing deep appreciation to the two Episcopal concelebrant to his left and his right. The right is Grace, the Archbishop of Guru, John Baptist Logama, and his Lordship, the Bishop of Sabino Odoki. As a token of my debt of gratitude, I would like to present the main concelebrants with two small boxes, one scarlet in color, containing a commemora commemorative medal of this event, the image of Blessed Joseph, on the front of the image uh, of the Ambrosoli Memorial Hospital in Calongo on the back. This one in the front, the other one in the back. And uh, the other white containing a relic exosibus a little of bond uh, over the new, newly beatified Joseph Ambrosoli. So now they are going to give to the main celebrant, the Archbishop and the Bishop Sabino. Similarly, I would like to present 
a commemorative medal and a relic, relic of Blessed Joseph to Lucy Lomokol, the Karimojon mother, who was miraculously cured after the invocation of Father Ambrosoli. lay dying from septic shock. I would also like to acknowledge with deep gratitude the presence here today at His Excellency, the President of Uganda, Yoweri Kaguta Museveni Tibwara Buhua. <laughs> May God bless you, sir, and protect Uganda. I know that His Grace, the Apostolic Nuncio, will convey to the Holy Father the greetings of good wishes of His Excellency the President in Rome. Okay. I would further, further like to acknowledge with sincere gratitude the presence here today of the Superior General of the Combonis Missionaries, Father Tespaie Gabrasilasi et Adesse. the Superior General of the Little Sisters of the Immaculate Mary of Gulu, Sister Grace Asiro. The provincial of the Pomboni Mission is in Uganda, Father Kiwanuka Kiles Kazosi. The provincial of the Pomboni Sisters in Uganda, Sister Luigina Frison. The Vicar General of Archdiocese of Gulu, Monsignor Matthew Odon. and the parish priest of Calongo, Father Ramon Alberto Vargas. Again, a token of appreciation, I would like to present with a commemorative medal and the relic of Blessed Joseph to representatives of the parish community of Calongo. And the, uh, 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 the doctors? Nothing. The doctors. And, uh, I think that. Two representatives of the medical staff of the hospital. Uh, 
representatives of the hospital. <laughs> if they not, I know they are very busy all over. Two representatives of the school for midwifery. The school of the midwifery. Oh, good. Yes. Good. At the end, the postulator of the cause of canonization of the former Bishop of Diocese of Gulu, Monsignor Angelo Negri, Father Joseph Okumu. You clap for Father Okumu, our postulator in the diocese. And Father Cosimo De Iaco, who has played a crucial role in the preparation of this moving ceremony, on this, the solemnity of our Lord Jesus Christ, King of the universe. Not here, okay. I finished. My, my blessed Joseph Ambrosoli, protect these our brothers and sisters in position of authority, all their communities, and all of us present here on this grace, the feast in his honor. Amen. Amen. May I take this opportunity to inform you of the following gifts to be presented to the following people. First, to His Holiness the Pope, Second, to the Nuncio, the family of Dr. Ambrosoli, Bishop of Como, the Home Diocese of the Blessed, Superior General of the Comboni Fathers, and sisters, brothers, Dr. Ambrosoli Foundation, Italian Ambassador to Uganda, the President of the Republic of Uganda, and Honorable Lucia Kelo, Guru Archdiocese, Dr. Ambrosoli Memorial Hospital, Kalo, and the Chairman, Centralizing Committee. On that note, therefore, may I request the Gifts Committee to draw nearer to where the Archbishop is, and then you can accompany him together with the postulator to take the gifts to His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda. Kiyom Chuin Madit, Kombedi Kitika Tero Mich, Ma Jomagitika Doro, Kitme Mio Mich, Gitye. Award Kachel Kiladit Archbishop, Ki Postulator Matika Konyawa. Wafoya Tutuan, Wafoya Teach. Now, 
His Excellency the President is being given a gift by the postulator and the Archbishop and the Superior Generals of Comboni, missionaries, fathers and brothers and sisters. Now they are posing here for a photo. So he's also presented a portrait of Blessed Giuseppe Ambrosoli. Now he is holding it and admiring it. So he is also given another portrait that has got the background of the parish and the church with the people in front dancing. Comedy, the dear Archbishop, postulator, Latin American missionaries, Iwilobokulo, he postulator, me Archdiocese Meguru, he Mother General, her little sisters, representative for Comboni missionaries, Gitika Duogochen. Kadongo Okan, Mitch Kibipore, Kirmananen, when you were a team. In a meno, Wabi when you lock about Archbishop, Megulu Archdiocese, Marvel Won, La Did Lobo, Melor Kedwan, Che Walor Bene, Yubwa in your material. Now, we are about to finish. I just want to make sure, please, let's be calm. Just relax. We are about to finish. Comrade the Archbishop, His Grace John Baptist Odama, will invite His Excellency the President of the Republic of Uganda to address us. Your Grace, you're most welcome. Our Chief Representative of the Pope here present, and all my brothers and sisters, I have the honor and the privilege to invite His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, who has honored us in attending this very historic event. Your Excellency, I request you to address your people. His Excellency, the, the Papal Nuncio, Papa Madid Matikan Nuncio, His Grace the Archbishop Baptist Odama, the Dead Archbishop John Baptist Odama, all the other bishops, Bishop Mukana the Wang Magitikan Tin, His Lordship the Chief Justice. Uh, and all the ministers and uh, members of parliament 
Minister, and the one <laughs> Ministers, remember, me Parliament, kidong darun weng, the Christo weng. Is my assurance correct? Ni leba chole ne tika kare. Na manisha njini wote, watu wote. Ni darun weng tika wutiang. Apo yurubanga. I thank God. I am here to represent the government. Empty kind macharula wangamente. On the day of the beatification of Dr. Ambrosioli. Inyano miwiro, Dr. Wamadid, Dr. Ambrosioli. Want to thank His Holiness the Pope. And miro foyo la did Papa. And the Church. Kidong kilisia for recognizing the meritorious work, the special work of Dr. Ambrosioli. Mi po pitit ma pecho ma Dr. Ambrosioli o tiyo. We the Africans have been here for four and a half million years since creation. Wan lul lobo chol wa beru kain dong pip wakke ma romu miyang wen kinuchu ma nara wi lobo chake. Four and a half million years. Mwaka million miyang wen kinuchu. Million angwen. Mwaka million angwen kinuchu. For you. Now we had our beliefs all that time. Wano watiki yeo mamegwa uchake we karano. The external religions started coming around 1840. That's when the first Muslim people came. And then the church mission and society, uh, Protestants, Came 1877. And then Father Rodel and Brother Amans came 1879. Therefore, the Christian religion has been here for about 140 or 50 years. And the Christian religion of course, it also had bad people who were hypocrites like those who took slaves and so on. But in the majority, it had a good message and good workers. And the good message was is summarized in the two commandments. Love God with all your heart and with all your might. Malo ba kichwi ni weng kitibu ni weng kikeru ni weng. And love your neighbors, you love yourself. Malo wore machale mare kene. So the message is excellent. Mena yedong lok madieta no. The message of Christianity is excellent. Lok pa Christayo nyo lok pa dini matek eno. Love God. Malo ba. And overcome selfishness. <laughs> now it also has had good workers like for instance Dr. Ambrosoli he spent a lot of time here I have started reading what he was doing here I was not aware before he 
healing people and also preaching the word of God. And he was in a, a remote place and uh, he left comfort of his country, Italy. He was a qualified doctor, he could have worked there. But he came to work here. And there are other examples. So therefore, we salute the contribution of such wonderful workers. Now, and we, th we, we thank the church, we thank His Holiness the Pope for beatifying uh, Dr. Ambrosieri. And we are for the Pope of the Lord and the Lord of the Lord of the Lord. Uh, Dr. Ambrosoli. I know this is an important step to the to the to the sainthood. And then here and here the man don't step me a get kitchen don't chair a chair away. Ah, that my leg. Now, then we we are all many of us here are Christians. And again, the Paul one back and you wing what better no Christo kilo Christo. Now, in the Bible, the Bible, it says, Why do you let your light so shine before men? that they see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. In other words, influence people by a good example. And in another portion of the Bible it says we shall know them by their fruits. Not just what they say, but what they do. Now, we as Christians and other believers like the Muslims, we must overcome poverty, among other things. And I appeal to you, all of you, there, to get up and get, work to get, to get out of poverty. And that you are what you one wing, can you mirror why you mother work with our And the NRM government has launched a campaign which you must have heard about. Ah, government of NRM do charo lueni mabu wano biyo ne eni biyo ne wunbe do winyu of stopping. Teach me each keken. To make me joko working for stomach only. Ah. That teach me each keken is not a good idea. That working for stomach only po bero idea ma be. It is a, a, a idea machon. It is a bero whole idea. We want idea manyen. They want a new idea. The, the idea manyen is teach me each, but also teach me and saho the with the pocket. The new idea is you work for stomach and also for something in the pocket. Gimoy jeba. So that we get out of poverty. Wekwa ao kitchen. And we have guided you that if you have got a small piece of land, there are seven activities you can do which will give you good money even if you are on a, working on a small piece of land. It first of all, have a plan of four acres. For, acre one, if you can grow coffee, if coffee can grow, you grow coffee. Some parts of northern Uganda can grow coffee. Areas like Zombo, like Arua, like even parts of Guru can grow coffee, even parts of Lira can grow coffee. So, Eka Achel, you grow coffee. Eka Achel, Piet Mwanye. 
Eka ario, you grow fruits. Eka mina mario, pet nyit yem. The fruits which can grow are mangoes, oranges, and pineapples. Those can grow quickly. A nyit yem manyako yoro, doktiere yoro, opero chalo na nasegi, mayembegi, masungwagi. Now, eka number three, you grow pasture for the young mei chak. The third acres, you can grow. We rob peto lum mano diang chamo chidi chak chak gidong katiwa. Uh huh. So that you have got a few cows in the in the shed. Kado itiki diya manok mai tika guako. The government will assist you to get those cows if you are if you are you are interested. Kai ine mero guako em diya chak eno ne manok e gamete romo koni we ine guare. Then eka, this is eka adek, eka angwen, you, 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 you do cham, you, you do uh, food crop, like cassava for instance. The fourth eka, you can grow cassava, iromo peto guana. Then in the backyard, we recommend you, 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 you have chicken for eggs. Ne dong miro wa pet guana ma bolotoin. The, the, these eggs are needed not only in Uganda but in other parts of the world. Then, if you are not Muslims, you can also look after pigs. So, that is the, 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 fifth the sixth activity. Now, finally, the, if you are near the water bodies, like near Lake Choga, in the, in, the, in the valley of the River Nile, uh, even other streams in, in, in the interior, you do fish farming. Because we, we can help you dig uh, 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 using the government machinery to, to do fish ponds. Now, these seven are the medicine for the people with small pieces of land. We call this, we call this intensive agriculture. Where you use a small area to get high value. But then there's also extensive agriculture. Where you can use those who have got more land can do other can do what we are saying here, but also do other things. For instance, we have been working with Archbishop Odama on the issue of cassava. I have not done the chura to know how much you get per acre per annum for the acre of cassava. But you heard I was recommending the cassava within the seven because you need food in your home. Now, but cassava can also be grown as a commercial crop. Depending on the chura. On the on, on the calculation. If you can get good money from one acre in a year, then it goes into the intensive agriculture. If not, in the extensive agriculture. Then you have got other crops like maize, Watiki with Jim Mukana Chalo Lanyuagi, like cotton, Chalo Pamba, like uh, sugar cane, Chalo Tiang. Uh, those need to be done on a big scale. 
Big or medium scale. Ten acres, one hundred acres or more. So the and the government is also going to help you with irrigation. So this business of the drought and so on should not affect us again. Now, with that massive involvement in commercial agriculture by everybody, all the households, will create, create a lot of production which needs to be sold within Uganda, but also in the region and internationally. And to be processed. In factories. Now, once the homesteads have money, they have food, the churches will, will, be, will be prosperous because, because the Christians will give more support. The homesteads, of course, will be better off and the government will get more taxes. So, this is the appeal I want to make on this occasion. Dr. Ambrosori, Ambrosori sacrificed so much, so far from home, in the area he was qualified in, in the area of medicine. Dr. Ambrosori, area doctor. And we are here celebrating him. How can we fail to, to look after our own families? Because here I'm not saying you go to Italy and become a missionary. No, no, no. I'm simply saying chase poverty from your home. If Dr. Ambrosiri, by example, could go so far away from home and, and work so hard, how about us just working in our compound here? I read that when Dr. Ambrosio was here, of course there was a rebellion here. And then he moved to, to Lira. That's where he died from a natural cause. That there was some confusion between the, 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 the hospital and the army. I think this was just a lack of coordination. Because if we had been told we would have handled this. Although there was a rebellion, it could have been, could be, could have been handled uh, uh, much better. Because I was in touch with Cardinal Subuga and other priests like Father Lafram of Bukaramuri. So th th this, that confusion is very much regretted. It was not necessary. So I thank all of you for coming in big numbers and for inviting me. Rubanga, bless you. Thank you very much. For your mother, Dada. Uh, your Excellency, we have His Highness Ruot. Name David Achana the second with us. The did road to for your bino matera dada.
the people of Agago, they have sent me a message here that they love you so much and they want to see you in ballot paper 2026. This is the paper I have here with me. Wafoy Matera Dada. National anthem in a reverse order. Excellency, the church is requesting for a group photo with the clergyman and the representative of the family members of Dr. Ambrosoli. Bishops may remain up there. His Excellency is coming up here.
as the president leaves the arena, we request the congregants, the celebrants, to remain where you are, except those who are going to be part of the exit procession. Please. Wanego luwa mara dilo botika a wan kong wa beri ni kwanyo jo magyo bi konyo me konyo lu dirwa eni me karo dir mago tere wa lega wa foye wo foye winyo no wa
Watieki National Identicat Ario Kan Amiru Evelyn Kachelki Aumakete Max Timbe Mantira Tirimamigi Mapira Tep Maukar Vakar National Identicat Amiru Evelyn Kachelki Auma Kete Max Birigamo Marocca, If you lost your keys, please kindly come and pick it up. Otherwise, you will fail right back home. All our dignitaries. I invited to the Lama Midway Fair School of Nursing for a lunch. All our members of parliament, the cabinet ministers, and the, re the religious. The priest, all of you are invited to lunch at School of Midwifery, Kalao. Where you know where you take your life from? 